Hi guys, a lot of comments come in for which plan or diet to follow after achieving weight loss following my egg diet or other plans. So I thought of publishing a video on which kind of diet should you follow to maintain your weight after considerable weight and fat loss. While following a meal plan, you eat clean and healthy and your body slowly starts adapting to it. Your body gets detoxed and your fat and weight goes down. All my diets, especially my egg diet, results in fat loss and not water loss. But after any meal plan, if you again start eating the way you were eating before, then you will again start gaining weight and become what you were before. It's simple logic. So the idea is to eat everything which is healthy and still maintain weight and fat percentage. This plan is an example to make you understand what should you eat and what not. And you can make changes according to your needs. So let's get started. On an empty stomach, I suggest having apple cider vinegar with mother mixed with warm water or if you're allergic to ACV then have lemon water or the ones allergic to both can have my coriander fat cutter drink empty stomach. Now many don't know what is ACV with mother. So this is how apple cider vinegar with mother looks like. This is from Bragg and it's a well-known brand especially for ACV. I have been using its various products like extra virgin olive oil and seasonings and I love this brand. Drinking ACV in the morning will help maintain pH level, regulate blood sugar, lower blood pressure and accelerate weight loss. Mother in apple cider vinegar is actually strands of proteins, enzymes and friendly bacteria. If you buy normal apple cider vinegar, it will look like plain apple juice and I don't recommend using this. ACV with mother is easily available and certainly beneficial for your body. You can also have sole water made with Himalayan pink salt, but then you will have to avoid tea and coffee, else it doesn't work the way it should. In the breakfast, have something healthy which has lots of proteins and fiber and will keep you going for few hours. This fights hunger and helps avoid untimely snacking. If you like eggs, then either have boiled eggs or cabbage egg omelette and if you are a vegetarian, then have semolina pancake or suji ka chila. Though semolina is made from wheat, but has healthy carbs to get you going through the day. These recipes were recently published in my channel and the video links are in the description box. There are many more healthy recipes in my channel. If you don't like suji ka chila, you can opt for something else. Add vegetables of your choice and make the way you wish to. Try adding flaxseed powder to add to the nutrition. I recommend recipes like these instead of paratha, roti or bread in the morning as this way you are able to eat a lot of veggies and proteins and still be on a low carb food. Also have a cup of green tea along with your breakfast. You can use matcha powder, tea bags or loose tea. You can also try the tree variants I'm currently using from the matcha reserve. I've tried most of their variants and I'm loving them. They have a good taste and you can actually use these tea bags twice. In between breakfast and lunch, you can have a cup of milk tea or coffee if you wish to, along with five almonds. Don't snack on energy bars, chips, biscuits, etc. You can also have walnuts, goji berries, peanuts or makhanas, but in limited quantity. For lunch, you can have rotis made with either oats or quinoa flour or use my weight loss roti recipes. Normal wheat roti has a lot of gluten, so instead mix your dough with something which is rich in proteins and fiber and can help you lose weight like flax seeds powder, chia seeds, sweet potato, leafy greens, etc. Have one to two rotis only and eat more of lentils, salad with mint or coriander chutney to fill in your stomach. You can also have brown rice if you don't have rotis in the lunch. Don't have white rice as it has a lot of empty carbs. Start having brown rice. It is rich in fiber and proteins and keep you full for a long time. You can also buy brown basmati rice if you don't like the regular variant of brown rice. In the evening, instead of something fried, have two slices of brown bread or multigrain bread. But check the label and then buy. It should not have wheat flour or refined flour or any kind of sugar added to them. Toast the bread as it lessens the quantity of carbs. Have them with almond butter, sunflower seed butter or peanut butter. These have healthy fats and also keep the hunger away. Try buying butter which is pure, organic and unsweetened as most of these have preservatives, flavors and unhealthy oils added to them. Apply butter moderately and enjoy with a cup of green tea. I'm using weight loss and detox green tea from the matcha reserve. Instead of bread and butter, you can also have a bowl of fresh fruits. 
eat any seasonal fruit of your choice or just have two bananas. You can also use any smoothie recipe from my channel. Most of them are easy and very filling. Now let's come to dinner. If you had roti in the lunch, then have brown rice for dinner. Limit the quantity to one cup of rice. Remember, portioning is the key. You can have brown rice or wild rice along with tofu stir fry, chicken liver, roasted chicken, leafy greens like spinach, etc. You can also have a bowl of soup or bowl of lentil that is dal with salad or one chicken breast, steamed fish, etc. Oily curries, gravies, red meat, etc. will only add to your weight and make you fat. So avoid, especially in the dinner. That you can have in your cheat days as a cheat meal, say once in a fortnight. That too during the daytime so that your body has ample time to digest it. Also have a cup of green tea after 30 to 45 minutes but if you have sleeping issues then I suggest having a cup of green coffee as it's decaffeinated. So this is how an ideal diet should be after following a weight loss meal plan. Check product labels before buying. This makes you aware of what actually you're going to eat. Shift to Himalayan pink salt than regular salt and to a healthy cooking oil like olive or avocado oil. Check my video on which oil to use and Himalayan pink salt for better insight. Try adding chia, flax seeds, hemp, spirulina, goji berries, green tea etc. in your daily diet. These are superfoods and will take care most of the daily recommended dosage of vitamins and minerals. Watch my video on how much and when should you have water. This will help you fight bloating and water retention issues. Again guys, this entire video is just a sample of what you should eat on a regular basis. You don't have to follow this every day. Make changes you want. But remember, the entire point is not to eat less and remain hungry, but to eat moderately and healthy. Portioning is definitely the key to whatever you eat and your total daily calorie intake is the most important part of any diet plan. Calories in versus calories out is the key to success. So walking or exercising daily for at least 15 minutes should be a part of your daily routine. At the end of the day, you should feel happy of what you ate and your body will show that. If you see that your weight is going up, you're certainly eating something wrong which is causing this issue. Find out and replace it with something more healthy. Hope you like this content. Please subscribe to my channel if you still haven't and I will see you soon with a new video till then. As I said before, you are what you eat. So eat clean and stay lean. Bye-bye. <laughs>